So it's wonderful to start learning again, Baruch Hashem. Difficult, difficult times, but perhaps it's worth mentioning that um, one of the things, of course, that has a koyach uh, of Shmira for Klal Yisrael is Torah. The more Torah that is, the Torah is Shmira. L'chol besare marpe brings rufua. It's for all of Klal Yisrael. So it's there's an, ad- an additional, um, hopefully, a sense of achrayus. I'll put it up that way. Achrayus, achrayus. There's so many. I don't need to tell you. So many even that need Yeshua at the moment. And uh, I'll add something else as well. So let me add another slightly. For Bnei Torah, you can speak slightly differently. I spoke on Shabbos and gave a, a long, longer, spoke for about half an hour, gave a whole drosh, which I'm going to try and put up on, on YouTube when I get some get some more time. But we spoke a little bit more about the Torah of the, the deeper insights into the, into the current situation. And one of the things that we mentioned, and this is really important, is the Rambam, the beginning of Hilchas Tanis, says that when there is an ace tzorah on the tzibur, then there is a mitzvah saseh min ha lizoik ulohoria. To shout. To shout out. To daven, but to tefillah b'shas, tefillah b'shas a tzora on the tzibur is notable for two reasons. Number one, it becomes a mitzvah saseh min ha the Rambam is of the opinion that tefillah normally, tefillah is mitzvah sasei minatari once a day. The Ramban famously says that, uh, that uh, tefillah based tzara is mitzvah sasei minatari, but so people forget, so does the Rambam. But he says mitzvah sasei lizoik, to shout. It's interesting. It doesn't just say to daven. It's important to know why to shout. Because, to quote the Briskorov when he, his famous idea on uh, the Gemara says Eov when Pare had these three um, advisors so Eov Sheshosak Nidon Biyasurim Eov was quiet and therefore says the Gemara says say Chazal he he becomes the the paradigm the exemplar of suffering Eov everybody you know the suffering of Job yeah Eov as if, that's how we say it in English yeah <laughs> how do you say it in German Eov <coughs> H I O B. What? Whatever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so he becomes the paradigm of suffering. But we, we forget where it comes from. It's because he kept quiet. Asked the Briskorov, but what could he have done? What could he have achieved? The other two were against him. He would never have won. Parry basically knew what he wanted to do. And the Briskorov answered in Yiddish. Promise not to laugh. And he said as well as, he said, if it hurts you, you shout. It's not about when you're in pain. When you say, you know, when, when somebody's in pain and they're shouting from pain, you don't say to them, why are you, what's the point? What are you going to achieve by crying? It's not about achieving something. It's not about an end result. It is an indication. It's almost an involuntary oh, reflex right. action. I'm in pain. It's a way that we, we express it. And this is, this is the Nakuda, I think. Mr. Sasei, Liz Oik, is to shout. That's the Mr. Sasei. Because it demonstrates that you feel, but Sar, if you're not shouting, if you're not being zayik, then it shows you're not. The Rambam then goes on in Halacha Beis, and he says, This is a really interesting and important idea. I don't want to go, use the whole shear for this, but uh, the the imperative, which is itself min ha-tayra, to shout out, and an ace tsara is a chelik of tshuva. There is an aspect of tshuva is always tefillah. But this is a unique one because it's a way of demonstrating. I'm not just davening, and this is what people make a big mistake. And I'm going to, I didn't say it strongly enough in shul because there was only so much you could do in half an hour when people are waiting for Kiddush. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm probably going to break it down into a series of smaller videos, which I'm going to send out, hopefully, when I get some time to record over the week. I didn't say this in short, but this is really important. I think, if, uh, if I may humbly suggest, that many, many people who are davening, of course we have to daven, and part of davening is we daven that the situation gets resolved. 
But we're not Yetzer. You're not Yetzer with that. It's not good enough. If you look, if you read and translate the Lashon Rambam, the Dovah Zemid Arkeh Tshuva is, it's not just Rabbi Nishram have Rachmanus and stop the war. That's, you're not Yetzer, you're Chiv. This is, Dovah Zemid Arkeh Tshuva is a recognition, says the Rambam, that this came about because of Ma'aseinu Haroim. This came about as a result of our, whatever that means. But we take responsibility. And every one of us then, I know we've just finished the whole, you thought that you've done with the Yom and Eroim and you've done Shuvah for the, no, the Rabbi Shalom showed us from Simchus Torah, no, not good enough. Well, it's another, I won't go into it. What is, that's another, another whole sugya. But one thing is for sure, there is an absolute chi of min ha so it's not good enough just to say to Davin that the situation the Rebbein Shalom have Rachmonus and the situation should be resolved. You're not Yoytzer. What the Zman calls for is a recognition that, that somewhere there is a failing, there's a Chisoran, and each of us, as much as we can, have to make a Chesh Ben HaNefesh and do Tshuva. And the, the Z'oka and the crying out is part of the tshuva. It's a recognition. It's taking a chryas. It's saying something's not right. What can I do? Where do I need to improve? Where do I need to be better? That's just a... Ooh, very good. Yeah. Yeah. And just to take this... I wasn't going to say that. Just to take this further. Hashivenu avinu l'soyra osech. Tshuva and Torah are, are, are intertwined. Because to return to Hashem, there's more, much more to say. Ayin nef shachayim shadalad periklam And there's a lot more to say on this, but tshuva and Torah are very, don't forget, yom hakipurim, people forget, yom hakipurim is the day that we get the luchay shliyos. It's a day of matan Torah. You hear that? that? The two are intertwined. It really needs more time to unpack this. One thing is for sure, to return to Hashem, to be connected to Hashem, is through his Torah. There is no more intimate connection than engaging in his Torah. The Torah is Chadu. So if it's if Torah is learned correctly, uh, as it should be, then you are connect. You are you are returning to Hakadosh Baruch You're being Dovuk. Anybody knows Nefesh Chaim? You're being by learning Torah properly, B'tara, B'kedusha, with Ema, B'yira, with the right approach. You're being Dovuk to the Rabbeinu Shalom, and that is a form of Tshuva Hashi Venu Avinu Okay. Enough said. Having said that, just as a small akdama, let us let's learn let's learn this man. It should be a zuchus for everybody that needs it. Right. We are up to Simon Ben Base Seif Base, and the topic we're about to start is an amazing topic. It is a relevant topic. It's it's relevant halachically. It also has some beautiful uh, lomdus and lomdusha applications. And let me give you the highlight. What we're going to learn in Seif base, or it's going to be connected to the next Seifim as well, which is the, the concept of the role the Edim play in Kiddushin. The role that the Edim play. That there needs to be two Edim, and the role that they play. And although you may think you know it, I must say I thought I knew it before I started preparing this, and it was much more... It was much tougher going than I thought it was, I thought it would be, and I'm not even finished yet. Uh, so today we're going to make a start. And we're going to start with the Gemara. I gave you all the Gemara. We we'll start with a few lines in Gemara, and it's actually important to, to look at this sugya because, uh, fascinatingly, in, I think in two days' time, Dafa Yomi comes up to this. Just, just so happens to be, I think they're almost, uh, I think they're holding literally a Dafa away. So I think in one day's time, I think tomorrow they're, they're, they're learning it. Anyway, so, so the Gemara is Kedushan Samachei Yomad Beis. Okay? And we're going to start from... Uh, and, and, and you're going to see later, perhaps, why it's important that we learn this Gemara. Um, let's start from about two, four... It's five lines down at the, towards the end of the line. I'm going to read it. I'm going to learn it. Omar Rav Yitzchok Bashmuel... Bar Marto Mishmei Darav. And this is going to actually be going to be quite important as we go through it. Um, understanding who said what and what uh, what the, the, the shittos of the Gedolia Amoiroim are. 
So, Rabbi Yitzchak Bashmul Bamarza says in the name of Rav, Hamakadesh Be'eid Echod, Ein Choshishin Likidushov. Somebody who is Makadesh Be'eid Echod, Ein Choshishin Likidushov. We're not even concerned. There's no chashash. Remember, don't forget, we often, and we've, we've come across this, and we will still come across it, there is a concept of Chumra Deishasish. It's always, we take that, we take Eishasish very seriously, and often we will be concerned and be machmir on things that perhaps when it comes to your cholent and the drop of milk or whatever, we wouldn't be so machmir. There is this concept of Chumra Deishasish, and we've seen this. And so he's, I think that's why he says, Ein Choshishim. Eh, don't even need to worry. It's very dismissive. Yeah? So he says, Ein Choshishim Kedushim. Even if both parties, the man and the woman, both say, yes, we, I, the man says, yes, I was Makadish, this woman, and she says, yes, he was Makadish, me, but there was only one aid there. They both agree. Doesn't matter. So we're not trying, in other words, this is not about Eidos Raya. This is not about Eidos, which is to bring a proof that this happened and there was intent, etc. No, everybody's agreed. There is no doubt whatsoever what happened and what the kavana and the context was. Everybody, all parties are in agreement, but it's just not good enough. You cannot have kiddush. In other words, we're beginning to see perhaps that the two, the concept, the two edim are an, what we call edekium. They are an integral part of the maisa or the chalois. I have to use my words carefully, but they're part of the kiddushim process. They're not just objective bystanders testifying that this happened. We have no doubt that what happened. Everybody's in agreement. But nothing doing. Now listen to this. If you're And this is the only time in Shas. And this is not my Bukiyos. I saw this, but this is the only time in Shafts where, where, where we have this thing, Bey Dino Rabba, by the, the Beistin of, let's see if it was Rashi, I don't remember, one second, give me a second, um, let's see, okay, so let's see what the Gemara says, um, Bey Dino Rabba Omri, Ein Chayshishin Likidusha, the the big Beistin said, Ein Chayish L'Kedushin. I said, my Beidin no Rabba. What's Beidin no Rabba? They said in the yeshiva of the, the big Beistin, says the Gemara, my Beidin no Rabba, Rav. The Ikeda Omri. It was Rav, in other words. Now, go back to what we started with. Omri Rav Yitzchak Bashmul Lamarto Mishmei de Rav. So, that's in, in line with it. Yes, it's consistent. This is, in other words, we first had Rav Yitzchak Bashmul saying in the name of Rav, and then we had... Rabba Barav Huna saying, quoting Beidino Rabba, the same thing. Um, we said, who is this Beidino Rabba? It's Rav. Okay, so it's Rav. The Ikeda Omri, Omer Rabba Barav Huna, Omer Rav, Hamkadesh Beid Echod, Beidino Rabbi Omri in Cheshun Kiddushan, my Beidino Rabba, Rebbe. So it's a bit of a, a um, it's not clear who it was that originated this. Statement of this halacha. Was it Rav or was it Rebbe? So maybe Rav didn't say it. Maybe Rav holds something else. But this is what Rebbe holds. Okay. Okay. Then the Gemara, leave it out. There's a que- The Gemara goes through some questions. Um, and go, keep, go down the page till we find... Uh, just over halfway down, middle of the line, my have a law. The line starts with the word mishtabdi. Got it? Mm-hmm. My have a law. What, what, what the Gemara then says to well, ask questions and answers, and the Gemara says, okay, no tachlis. My have a law. Which in itself is quite interesting. Because we haven't had any dissenting view. That's quite interesting. Stop and think about this. And the reason I'm saying this, you're going to see later why I'm making a fuss of who said what. and Because we're going to discover something really quite bizarre in halacha. It's very, very strange, very unusual. So what's the Gemara saying? My have a law. What was the safe dava? What was, what was the tachlis? What do you mean? Has anybody said that Makadish Be'ed Echad is a good Kiddushin? Has anybody said that? 
Nobody. There hasn't been a single. There's no machlekas. Is it Rabba? Is it Re- is it is it Rav? Is it Rebbe? It's Beidino Rabba. But nobody has actually said that Makadosh Beidechod is kedushin or cheshesh lekedusha. Very strange. My have a lot. Yeah. On the first case, we say the second case, we That's true. That's true. I was I was wondering about that. That is true. But leaving aside the Shnei Moedim bit for a moment, mm-hmm. and that may come back in, but the notion of a Mekadosh Be'ed Echad, Ein Choshen Lekidusha, we haven't had any Machlaikas. Yeah. There hasn't been a dissenting view. Sarah makes a good point. We might be able to come back to that. Not Probably not today. But does anybody, if I were to ask you, is there any halachic opinion that... You mechanish in front of with one aid that it's good? No, nobody says that. And then the Gemara says that's a very strange thing. The Gemara says, My have a law, Tachlis, what's the maskana? I would have thought it's pretty obvious. Zodigi Morem, my have a law, and here it gets really bizarre. Ravkana Omar, Ein Choshishin Likidushin. Ravkana says, Taka, Ein Choshishin Likidushin, nothing doing. Rav Papa Omar, Choshishin Likidushin. Rav Papa pops up, sorry. Rav Papa. Mm-hmm. Comes along and says, no, it's because the reason I said that, I didn't actually, did not chas v'shalom mean to be facetious. Chas v'shalom. Um, but, but, whoa, 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 what do you mean chas v'shalom? Why? On what basis? And that's a question we need to ask ourselves in the methodology of the Gemara. Mehecha tesa. So, so Rapopa says chas v'shalom. Ravashi. Now Ravashi comes along. Now we've moved down, by the way, historically, we're now down at the, Orche Hagmara, Ravina and Ravashi, yes? Omar Ravashi. So Ravashi says to Ravkano, Madatoch. So he's a contemporary, right? So Ravashi is sorting things out at the end, right? So he turns to Ravkano. Ravkano says, no way, it's not, it's not, uh, no, it's not Kiddushin. So Ravashi interrogates Ravkano and he says, Madatoch, do you have to dovo dovo mi momoin? Why do you say in Chayshishin and Kiddushin? Is it because, why do we need two Adim, Rabbi Isai? We've been through this. Why do you need two Adim for Gitin or Kiddushin? You absolutely need to know this, and we've been through this. It's very, 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 very basic and very important. Why do we need two Adim for Kiddushin? Why don't we say Eid Echod is good enough? Because there is a Gzeiro Shava. I'll give it to you tomorrow in the Makar. There is a gzeiro shava, dovar, dovar. Yes, al pishnei demi akum dovar. It says dovar by erva, and it says dovar by momoin, money things. And we there's a gzeiro shava, just like, and this is going to be very important. Just like by momonus, we need al pishnei edim yakum dovar. So too by a dovar sheba erva, you need to. And that is known colloquially as Dovor, Dovor, Mi Momoin. Xeroshova of the Dovor, Dovor from money. So Ravashi now says to Ravkana, Why are you telling me that somebody's Makadish Beidachod? It's no good. Is it because. My datoch, do you have to Dovor, Dovor, Mi Momoin? Is that the reason? Because you learnt Dovor, the Xeroshova, Dovor, Dovor, Mi Momoin. Well, that's. Well, then I can have a challenge for you. Because Ima Lahalon. This is relevant for you. He has a very simple question. What's the question? What would be if you come up to me and you say to me that I owe you 100 euros? Now, I have a number of options to respond. I could turn around and say, no way. And now, if I say no way, I don't know you anything, you now have the burden of proof is on you. I might say chaver of Araya, and you either have to bring a shtar, and if it's going to be Adim, you're going to have to bring two Adim, right? But what would it be if I turn around to you and I say, you're right, yes, I owe you, I owe you 100 euros. That's it, done. Hoidoas Baal Din, the confession, the agreement of the party, the Baal Kameo Adim Domi. It's as good as I can no longer, and let's say two Adim witnessed me saying that, right? I can no longer even change my mind. That's it. It's done. It's Kameo Adim. Well, hold on a second, says Ravashi of Kana. So if we're talking over here in a case where both the man and the woman agree, if the whole t- reason you, that you need to aid him is because you learned it out from money, well, let's go back to where you learned it from. What's the case in money if the guy says he agrees, if there's no argument, then... 
that it, it stands. So it should be the same thing. Ish, bishlema, they argue. The man says, no, I never did it. Or the woman says, no, I never did it. Or more complicated, yes, I did it, but no, I didn't mean it. I'm going to have to go into all of this. Okay, I can hear. You need dov or dov on me moment to aid him. But in a case, shnei amoidim. If this is where we learn from that you need to aid him, then it, should be, it, it, it shouldn't be stronger. It shouldn't be worse than... So why are you saying, Hamakadosh be'ed echad? Says Rav Ashi to Rav Kahana, you are paskening like Rav, Rav, or whoever it is, that one aid is nothing. Why not? If both parties agree, then it should be good. Lama lo? Good kasha, no? Answers the Gemara. Ma omele again, omele Rav Ashi Rav Kahana, ma datach, do you have to double double me, mama? So, ima la lo no do as baldin kame edim domi, yav kame do as baldin kame edim domi. Omalei, he says, no, it's not a good comparison. Why? Because when do we say hoidoas baal din kameo edim domi? That is only when it does not impact anybody else negatively. When it's just about me and my bank balance. So I'm, I'm not impacting anybody else. I'm not implicating. I'm not bringing anybody else into the mix. It's about me between you and me, and I have the authority to, over my own bank balance, and if I turn around and say, yes, I owe you a hundred, that's it, game over. But if it would be a hoidas baldin, where I'm agreeing, but it has a negative impact on other people, b'mokoim shechav l'acharini, in a play, in a, t- in a situation, in a context, where other people are also negatively impacted and affected, then you don't say, then you don't say Odas Baldin. And the Gitin and Kiddushin is a mockim of Chav Lacharini. Mm. Why is it Chav Lacharini? And here we're going to see a big machlek just to show him. Because, in a way, I guess because of the wife. Because then she's, she has actually a status of a, of a married woman. And? And then she's not allowed to. She, the oh, of things, oh, you got. Oh, oh, you. The, very good. But I want, I want to point something else. In yes. In the beginning, um, what was that? I think you maybe points out to what the Aramaeta says, what the Aramaeta says about that. Well, 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 well. No, sorry. I'm, I'm, Cheat. No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> we'll come into that in a minute. We're going to do it. In here. It says, <laughs> oh, God. It's all about this. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Both of them. We well, see now this is. Yeah, but if Shnehem Odin, then it doesn't really matter. Shnehem Odin. They are both more or less like shooting with their own legs. You, I think you have to need a drop of patience because that's why we're going to need to learn Rashi. And Rashi will answer your point. Yes. Just, no, but I understand where you're coming from. You're going to see it still. Yeah. And we, we, but the plain sure we're going to get there. Yes. So we say that if it's about your own loss, you're, yes. not as, you're so to speak, you're more hammer when it's about other people. The you have no authority. Right. So, Baldin is only when it's right. you. So it's like not, there's a more... Not when it impacts other people. Other people Correct. Even That's if exactly. It's the same situation. Uh, if it has a negative right. impact, if your confession has a negative right. impact on other people, you need absolutely. Right. Now let's work out mm-hmm. exactly. Now let's work out, and this is where Sal's already digging beneath the surface. And uh, let's see how is this Mokim Shechav Lachrini. And here there is a very interesting Rashi. Let's learn the Rashi. And once <laughs> we've done this, we've done enough to be able to start learning the Shulchan Aruch. Okay. Okay. Zokt Rashi. Loi kochi. It's in mine. It's directly parallel with what's well, yours is saying because it's the same photocopy. Directly parallel with the Moisaf Rashi. Can you see? It's directly mm-hmm. parallel with the Moisaf Rashi. Got it? Mm-hmm. Says Rashi. In that case, when do we say Adas Badin Kame Aidim Domi? It's like Kochai Lachrina Eino Chav Lachirim Bahida Osoizu. You do not negatively impact. You don't obligate. Anybody else with your personal hoidosh, ain't nifsad elohu. Only you lose, nobody else. Whereas over here, hocha kochayv lacharini, zot rashi, shekroi voise ho neesru boy, u kroi vov neesrin ba. As a result of this marriage being valid, he is no longer able to have a relationship with her relatives and and she is not allowed to have any re- a re- a re- relationship with his relatives. Notice Rashi didn't say she's an Aishas Ish and she can't now have a relationship with anybody. Rashi says his Kravim. Just remember that. This is the Shittas Rashi and this is the end of the Sugya. How would you pass him?
No cheating. Don't look inside. How would you pass him? Any ideas? I mean, just... You, there's no right, there's no wrong. Just I'm just curious. Mekadosh be'ed echot. What would you say? Based on basic, we've learnt a Gemara and a question and answer and a little bit of clarification and that's it. This is the end of it. Nobody's willing to stick their head above the parapet. That's fine. That's no problem. Let's learn Shulchan Aruch. Let's learn. Zog de Mechaber Membeisi Beis Hamakadesh Shaloi Beidim Vafilu Beidechod Einom Kidushin. Einom Kidushin. There's no, that's not Kidushin. Vafilu Shneem Moidim Bedovar. Even if they both agree, make some difference. Now here it's going to start getting a bit complicated. Is that I can't read. Yes. Even if not correct, they weren't contemporaneous. They weren't. Yeah, they weren't simultaneous. So even if he's mechanic in front of one aid and then later in front of another aid, such that there are. Two, although not on the same Misa, but two separate witnesses that he was Makadosh, this woman. So the Shulchan Aruch is very unequivocal. He's absolutely unequivocal. There is nothing to be concerned about at all. We have Rav, we have Rabba, we have Rav Kana, and Rav Popa, it seems, we are just, we are not interested in Rav Popa's opinion. Uh, and let me tell you, this is basically the r quite rare consensus from Rabbeinu Tam, the Rif, the Rosh, the Rambam. And therefore that's how the Mechaba Paskins. Comes along the Ramah with a very interesting opinion, which is, I'll tell you what it is, it's a Das Yochid, it would seem, the Smag. Say for Mitzvah Skodra, one of the Chosh of the okay. Smag, uh, says the remote, Hagot. V'yesh machmirin in Mekadesh lifnei edechot. Tur b'shem smag. There are some, there are machmirin, if he's Mekadesh with one aid, im shnei emoidim, if they both agree. Avon im echod makchish ha aid, ein lochosh. Says the Tashbat. However, even in the smag, who says that we will be machmir. And he's mash... Note, and this is really important. The question is not whether it's a good kiddushin or not. The question is whether bichlal, we take it into account that maybe there is something, maybe, 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 a chumrah. And it's, everybody agrees, you see the Russian, it's a chumrah. Should we be machmir here at all? Or should we just totally, utterly ignore it? The, the, the das of Rav Rishonim, Rav Apoiskim, Rif, Rosh, Rambam, Rabbeinu Tam, etc., not even, we're not interested. Don't, well, don't waste my time. Goodbye. Not interested. The, the smag says, <laughs> soften, basically. I would have to make him give a get, etc. Would we pass her for kahuna? That's, a, a, we're going to see. That's interesting. So, the, and the remark, surprisingly, says, is Pascal's like this, yesh machmirin, but this is only im shnei moidim. We're only machmir if they both, if the man and the woman both agree and you have an edechot. But if one of them don't agree, they say, no, never happened. Let's keep it simple for the moment, because it's going to get complicated. Or they say, never, never happened. Then even the smag would agree. Um, let's have a look at the Bir Agra before we go any further. Says the Gorn, Sikot and Ches. Hamakadesh. Dekulu Amoiroi, Svirale Kach, Levadra Popa. All the Amoiroim. Hold like that, except for a popper. Ravkana Basra who Ravkana is Basra. He's one of he's the latest uh, generation. Vchein Rav Ashi Kibel Dvorov, and you see Rav Ashi challenged Ravkana, but he gave him a good answer back, and it seems Rav Ashi was Makabalit. So you have Rav Ashi, you have Rabbo, you have Rav. So Rav Popa, that's why he's saying the uh, Rif Rosh Rambam Paskin that it's not kedushin. Next, next going. Tess the Yeshmach Mirin Karapopa. You tell me what you think the Gorn holds. Ukvar Kosav Harajbo, Sheyichido Hu Hasmag, Vachol Hapoiskim Cholkim Olov, 
Velez de Choshla. You would disagree with the Ramah? Correct. The Goyen is disagreeing with the Ramah. The Goyen is, is, is saying, don't, don't, don't have to follow the Ramah. That, relatively rare. It doesn't happen all that often. It does happen every now and again. But the Ramah is being chayesh in a, in a limited circumstance for the smag. And the, and the Goyen is saying, don't even need to be worried. Now, here's where the fun starts, my friends. And this is where it begins to get a little bit more complicated. Let's go, you know what, let's go on in the Ramah, and maybe we'll, we won't do much more today. And do you have any time to do any prep? Is that Shaykh? Do you have any time in the Seder at all? Not yet. No. But we'll lobby for it. What, what? We're lobbying for it. <laughs> Not yet said. Okay. Because I just feel this, this the, the stuff that we're doing is, is, is you're going to see, I'm, I'm going to try and make it as simple as I can, but there's some, I'm still actually debating. If you look over the page here, just look at that long Beis Shmuel, and then the and the Chavz Mochayke. There's a there's a long piece of here. It, it's there's there's an um. If I get enough time, I'd love to make a table with all the variables. You'll see what I mean in a minute because it's 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 not simple, and I don't know how to make it. I'm struggling with how to make it digestible and simple. I'm really struggling with this. But for the moment, let's just uh, let's just finish off the remark. Okay. So so far, that's the remark. Ubemokaim igulu dchak. Listen to this. Says the Ramah that in a mockim of Igun, only if Chas Shalom a woman would end up becoming being an Aguna, or there's very ex- extenuating circumstances, only then is the Ramah prepared to be rely on the Shulchan Aruch. Very interesting. The Ein Chilok, and this itself is, is, is actually troubling. It is troubling. Why the Ramah? It's, you need to appreciate and see this in context. It's, it's strange. We have Rif, Rosh, Rambam, Rabbeinu, Tam. It's, it's quite rare to have such unanimity. And we have basically more or less just one opinion and uh, to go along with it. Even the Gond is, there's something going on over here. And I don't know if we're going to get to the bottom of it, but I just want to point that out. Now, says the says the Ramat. It makes no difference whether the aid says that, what does this aid say? So I'm sure you understood until now, you're mechanic in front of one aid, meaning that there was only one aid there. Not necessarily, says the Ramah. You could have a situation mm-hmm. where you have one aid comes along and says that there was aid him there. Mm-hmm. But then it's not here. You hear? So, and then you're going to get into all sorts of complicated situations. So, you need, so you need, the question is, do you need aid him for aid us? Correct. Absolutely. Two aid him for absolutely. Aid one aid. Uh, is one aid good enough? Yeah. The Ein Chilok, and this is now you can begin to appreciate the variables. You have him, you have her, you have one aid, and you possibly have other aidim. And let's see. So says first of all, says the Ramah, let's keep it simple for the moment. Ein Chilok makes no difference whether the aid says that Niskatshel of Fonov Levad, Oisha Oimer, Shniskatshel if Neishnayim. Or the, the, if it makes the same halacha, that if the aid comes and says that not your mechanic in front of me, but your mechanic is mechanic in front of two witnesses. But he is the only one that saw. The other witnesses say, no, they didn't see. So he is arguing with them. This is going to get complicated. Let's keep going. Okay, and this is Beis Yosef. And Chein Mashma, Chus Rashbot. V'chein im Kiddush Lifnei Shnayim. And here is again where it's going to get really interesting. If somebody's Makadesh in front of two witnesses, but one of them is Korov, one of them is a is related to the Chosan or the Kala. Then we say, says the Ramal, have a Kimakadesh Lifnei Eidachod. Then it has the halachas if you're Makadesh Lifnei Eidachod. Would anybody like to comment? Testing your general knowledge here. Again, the Ramal says the Ramal that if this, what we've been discussing, that being Makadish in front of one aid is no good. The same thing would be is actually if you had two aid in, but one of them is disqualified by virtue of being related to yeah. either to the other aid, uh, no, it can't be the other aid, to the, to the Hassan or the, or the Kala. He's possible. He's definitely possible. There's no question yeah, about it. So you're, so you're left only with one aid. Yeah, but it makes sense. It well, makes sense. You're eventually, you're, you're happy actually. Only one, one proper 
the other ones. Okay. I really I was just testing internal knowledge. Yes. Well, it's analogous to uh, in cases of Mama, you know, you have to have two Aiden. But now if you say it's analogous to a Mama, you have to have two Aiden. Keep and going. It cannot be a cowboy. Keep going. And you should also go with the Xeas Shavya, where you need two Aiden. Oh, no, oh, yeah, that's for sure. That's not, that's not a question. I thought you, I thought you were going somewhere else. Marcus. Eidus Shabotla Miktsasa. Botla Kula. Does that ring any bells? But hey, the concept, Eidus Shabotla Miktsasa, it's a concept in Gemara. We're going to see that if there is Eidus, I thought somebody might ask this. Ah, so why is he asking? Oh! Why is he even asking? Oh! Should be. Oh! Completely. So the Ramah says that if one of the Eidim is found to be a Korayv, so you're left with one good aid. Really? We have a rule in the Gemara. Aid is Shabbat la Miktsasa, but la Kula. Is it because he's not necessarily correct to, he's only correct to one? Makes no difference. It's Aid is Shabbat la Miktsasa. Part of Aid is his bottle. Okay. No Shaila, he's possible. But still, but still this cup of egg may be kosher for one of the... Of but the Aidus, the, the halacha is that if you have a unit of Aidus, and part of it is bottle, bottle kula. And we're going to have, this is, so this is, uh, I think we'll leave it here for today. Uh, but there's a lot tomorrow. It's gonna, we're going to get, it's going to get a more, more complicated. I'm afraid before it gets easier. But then, and we'll discover some amazing and really important things along the way. There have been many cases in Aloha when, especially with these um, either cowboy rabbis or, or, or uh, where, where the, the tzibor was, was, uh, uh, was not from and the problems with the Adim and this is this is these are the sugars very very